everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today we're going to be doing a bathroom refresh so I'm going to show you the before the during and the after and today I'm going to give you a full bathroom tour as well so I really hope you enjoy this video I'm so excited to share it with you because the bathroom looks amazing now so yeah if you want to see all of that then just keep watching and also make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already because I'm doing lots of different home updates at the moment I'm sharing the process with you the before the during's and the after one is right behind me it's not finished yet but i cannot wait to show you the rest of that i'll do another video on our dining room paneling very very soon so if you have got any questions about that then put them down below so i can answer those for you in the next video so thank you so much for watching let's get into the video okay so this is what the bathroom is currently looking like this is what we want to paint because this was never really the color that i imagined it would be and when it was delivered we didn't have any time to kind of change it because we already had the builders here so we kind of just went with it so that is the main feature we're going to paint i also want to paint the mirror because that is a similar color so i'm going to paint that in the same paint as what i'm going to paint this unit here this vanity unit the bathroom itself is pretty small i think i may put some shelving up here or change the picture up there i'm not really sure yet but the main thing we want to change is this vanity so we're going to paint that and give this bathroom a little bit of a spruce up so yeah this is the before I guess. Okay so the first thing I want to do is just get rid of all of the products and things that I've got out on the vanity and in the bathroom so I just want to make sure it's all nice and clear and I've got a nice workspace. I'm also going to give the vanity a good clean down. I'm going to use this sugar soap. This is by Frenchie and they advise to use this before you use any of their paints to make sure that the vanity or whatever furniture that you're going to paint is nice and clean and prepped before you do it. So I'm going to wipe this all down and then I'm going to rinse it with some clean warm water after as well. So now that's all dried and clean, I'm going to use some masking tape, just a masking tape all around the tile area and also the basin area because I don't want to get any paint on that. So I'm going to masking tape all of that and then get started on the paint. The paint that I'm using today is the French Chic Al Fresco range and I believe the shade is called Swanky Pan. I've used this range before outside in our garden on the boys playhouse and this is perfect for indoor or outdoor use. This paint is really hard wearing, weatherproof and it's also got like a nice chalk finish so it covers really really well and it's so nice to use. So let me show you the progress. This was after one coat of paint. So you can see there is still a bit of the other paint shining through. So this was one coat, which I think covered really well. This here was actually two coats. I think I did three coats overall to completely cover it, but it was really, really easy to use and dried super fast too. So now I'm just gonna move on to the mirror. I'm actually gonna use the same kind of process. I'm just gonna mask and tape all around the mirror and paint it as I did with the vanity. Okay, so I found my old bath caddy. I was looking for this for ages and I realized that I put it underneath my bed. So I'm gonna paint it as well because I don't want it to be gold anymore because obviously everything in there is now kind of grays and silvers. So I'm just gonna go in with this paint and see if it works and covers it. If not, it's fine. I'll paint it black possibly or spray paint it at some point. 
This is definitely a job that would be much easier with spray paint, but I didn't have any spray paint to hand. So we just went with it. And I eventually actually went and got one of the kids brushes, one of their paint brushes, which was much smaller and it was so much easier. So yeah, use a smaller brush if you're doing things like this. So while that was drying, I wanted to fill these bottles up, which I bought from Scribe Tribe Studio. I chose all of the wording. I also chose the, like the colors of the writing and everything else. So I just thought this would look really lovely in the bathroom. I've seen this loads on Instagram. Instagram and I just love the way it looks so I'm just filling up the bubbles one now with some radox and I filled up my uh, body wash one and also the kids shower gel as well I didn't bother with the shampoo and conditioner because I actually need to get some more so I'm gonna wait for that one but this is how it looks I think it looks so so fab and I think it's gonna look great in the bathroom okay so the bathroom is now finished this is what it looks like the vanity is my favorite I think it looks absolutely gorgeous in this color I just love it so much. So I'm gonna show you through a few of the different changes that we've made in the bathroom. So let's start with the vanity because this is where the whole project started. So this is the Frenchie paint in Swanky Pants. We didn't bother changing the knobs. This is something that we will do after lockdown. I thought these ones still worked fine. So I'm gonna keep those. These didn't actually come with the vanity. We had a different set of knobs for the vanity, but I bought these when we originally installed it. So. I think they work absolutely fine and I think it looks lovely. So inside as well, I'll just show you how it's organized because it's not huge, but this is how I've got everything organized. Down here we've got bath products, we've got shampoos and conditioners. These are just like my silver shampoos or treatments and things like that. Toothbrushes down there. Then up here we've got some more bath and body products, some teeth products. It's all a bit of a mishmash really. And then at the back there, I've got some facial products as well. We've got the boys' toothbrushes down here, and then I've got my shampoo and conditioner bottles there, which I actually do need to fill up. These containers here are by iDesign, and they work really well under here because it is quite a shallow cupboard. You can't really get an awful lot in there, so these work absolutely fine in there. So that is the storage situation. And then if we come up here, I've got this gorgeous marble tray, which I bought from Cox and Cox before Christmas. I think they still have it in stock, actually. This used to be in my kitchen, so I've moved it up. I've done a lot of shopping my home for this video, so I've brought this up from the kitchen. I've also brought this up from the living room, which is from HomeSense. This, again, is from iDesign. And then I've got my little wax burner here. This is from B&M. Smells amazing. My mirror is from Dunelm, I've had it for years now. And then these little jars, again, are from iDesign as well. To make everything look a lot sleeker as well, Mark did silicone around the whole vanity, which was never done originally. I don't know why that never got done. So he's siliconed all the way down everywhere. So it looks so much nicer and more cleaner and slicker. So that is what we've done here and all the way down the side as well. He's done such a great job with that. And I just think it makes it look way nicer and more finished. I just think this area looks so much neater and tidier now and really, really pretty and elegant. And then over here we've painted the mirror which you would have seen earlier and this is in the same shade swanky pants. So I'm really glad I didn't get a different mirror. I think this works really well in here and I love the new color and the little refresh that we've given it. I'll just pan down for you so you can see the towel rail and radiator and I've managed to declutter this area. This is usually an area that gets cluttered with my clothes or all of the towels and things like that. So I've decluttered that and we've added some hooks behind the door, so I'll show you that now. So we've added these gorgeous hooks. These are from Cox & Cox. This is like a gorgeous marble, very, very heavy. I bought this in the sale again before Christmas and I've been waiting to put it up. So we've popped that up behind the door now and that's gonna help me keep this space over here decluttered, which is great. Now, moving over to the bath area, if we go up, you remember I used to have a gold picture here and I also used to have a hanging planter. I got rid of that and then I reused this picture that I used to have in my bedroom. So in my bedroom, obviously we had the wardrobes done. So we had to take one of these pictures down. I've also got the other one up in my bedroom at the moment, but we had to take one down. So I recycled it and used it in here and I think it works perfect because of like the little hints of pink i just think it works really well and looks really beautiful and elegant so we moved that picture up there that is from disenio and then if we come down i've got rid of all of the bottles that we had and i've replaced them with these bottles here and i think they look really lovely so we've just got the body wash and bubbles there 
a little bar of soap. And then this here I think was from, oh my gosh, I can't even remember where that was from. Possibly Dunelm or The Range maybe, I think. The bath caddy I painted grey, it used to be gold. Um, if you saw my last bathroom tour, I think it may have been in there. I just think it didn't really work well in here. So I thought I would give it a little try and paint it. And it actually looks really lovely. So that is the bath caddy there. I love the body wash and bubbles bottles. And also I've got the kids wash one over there so this is the kids wash and i just think it makes everything look a little bit more cohesive so that is the bath area there looking very pretty and chic and then down here right at the front of the bath we've got the boys toys and also orlando's bath seat so i just keep that at the front of the bath so it's not really as noticeable and then this all looks like this so yeah i'm really really pleased with how this has turned out this was such an easy way to give the bathroom a little refresh and i think it looks fantastic so let me know what you think of the bathroom and if you're doing any refreshes at the moment in your home i would love to know more so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me